So, I've been hearing a lot on the internet and other YouTubers, it's like, AMD FX processors just can't handle anything modern. So this video, we're going to compare the Intel i7 4790K and the FX 9590, the AMD CPU. Like I said, it's a FX 9590, it was released around mid-2012, it's an 8-core and it comes at a stock core clock of 4.7 GHz and a max turbo of 5 has about 8 megs of L3 cache. Now this CPU is the top of the FX line and as such it has a huge TDP of 220 watts. The Intel CPU is the i7-4790K which was released mid-2014. It is a quad-core 8-thread part, comes stock at 4 GHz core clock and a 4.4 GHz turbo frequency. Um, the Intel chip also has 8 megs of L3 cache, which is the same as the AMD chip and uses socket 1150. And it has a TDP of 88 watts. Both CPUs use DDR3. Now for this test, I will be trying to keep things equal. So I'm using the same memory, PSU, graphics card, and CPU cooler, as well as the same test bench. The memory is 2400 MHz DDR3, dual channel. The power supply is an 800 watt power supply. And the CPU cooler is a Corsair H150i Pro. Are in. So what does it mean? Um, so the AMD CPU um, had about the same average frame rate for most of those games. Um, Project Cars was an exception um, and Doom, but the 1% and 0.1% lows were really low um, and a lot of the games just on the AMD chip just were not very pleasant to play and you just could not play them. Well, you could play them, you just wouldn't want to play them. So as for the synthetic benchmarks, um, the AMD chip was about 30% behind the Intel chip on most of them. Um, the one big exception was POV Ray, uh, which they were both about the same. And one thing I should say is during the gaming, the AMD chip just, it wasn't a very pleasant experience gaming with that CPU. And I honestly thought it would do better, it's eight cores, it's a high clock speed. I just thought it would hold its own a lot better against the Intel chip. Now you can get these FX CPUs relatively cheap on eBay. I think they're like $100 or so. So they are a, a bit cheaper than the 4790K, which is, I had ch check prices before filming this. They're about 200 to $180. So, there is a bit of a price gap, but motherboards cost about the same. DDR3 is not cheap, but cheaper than DDR4. So I probably wouldn't get an FX CPU if I was building a computer, unless it's something you're trying to flip. Um, but with that being said, during regular desktop usage, web browsing, um, game loading, the, the CPUs were basically the same. You, I couldn't tell any difference. Um, it was just actually playing the games, the frames lagged or dropped. 
um, those 1% and 0.1% lows are just really low and it just made the game very unpleasant to play. So I hope this video is helpful and if you like this video give it a like and uh, comment, subscribe down below. See you next time. Bye.